Hi, my name is Jimena Correa Murillo and I'm gonna explain what I did in my final evidence. So first of all, what I did is the import. So later on, we can import all the information we want. So pandas as PD, XLRD, matplot, statistics, and non-P as PD, NMP, sorry. And also the variable table. So equals PD read Excel, so we can read the information from the Excel and obtain the information that we want from that specific file. Later on, what I also did is I create a subtable of the column education, specifically from that one. Okay, so I did the education variable and I was specified in that column. I print a menu with a definition and I later on ask for that definition. Um, also in the menu I wrote that one equals below college, two equals college, three bachelor, four master and five doctor. So the user knows which level of education the person has depending on the number that they get with the information of later on. Also I define another function that the function is called ask education um, so here the user can choose in which option they want to get information from about from average standard deviation the mode or the graph and later on i did also another function in which you you can get the specific one for example from average education i created a variable that gets the information from the specific column of education Later on, I call that table and ask for the mean of that specific column. And then I print it, if the user chose that. If not, I ask, I did the standard deviation formula also, the same from the column and the same from the mode. And for that, I also use the statistics function, import, sorry. And for the graph, of education, I also did two calls from the two different columns that we need for this specific graph. The first one was ask for the column of age. Later on, I did another variable that asked for the column of education. Later on, I did another variable that is called education graph one equals to plt.bar two parentheses and between the two parentheses I wrote age list and table edu there are the other two variables that I just explained and for that later for that I wrote the labels of the x's the x level is called age and the y level is called the education level so with these two informations we can now know the relation of the age to the education and that's how the graph is called the age in relation to education level and later on i wrote plt.show to parentheses so it can show the graph to the user and how it works and how the relation is formed in the graph what i learned in this project is that it can help me later on in my personal situations and now I know how to obtain information from an Excel in an easier way with this program. Also what I learned from this specific case is that most of the people just have college and that's the one that is more repeated thanks to the mode. The standard deviation is one. I also got the information about that the average of people with study level is college and half, so people have just that level of education, and that's it. Thank you.